welcome back to our Pack to the Plate Poultry Edition Egg to Chick. Today is day five and I'm super excited to open up our plastic egg so that you can see what has happened overnight. You're going to see a big difference from day four to day five. So let's see. All right, can you see those big black discs? Those are their eyeballs. And that tiny little speck with blood vessels has turned into a little alien body. You can actually see that this resembles a bird. Now remember, to have a chick at the end of this, it only takes 21 days. So these little guys have to grow rapidly. I'm super excited for you to see the huge differences we're going to start seeing day to day. Now, do you remember yesterday when we were talking about commodities and the poultry industry as a whole? We were talking about broilers, the meat part of the chicken, and the eggs. But there's a lot of different things that we can get from a poultry bird besides just meat and eggs. There's a saying that nothing goes to waste in agriculture, and it's true. Different industries use all different parts of a bird to create other different products to better your life. Those things are called byproducts. Now let's take a look at some, just, this is just a sample of some of the byproducts that professionals can fashion from different parts of the bird. This first one up here is fertilizer. Fertilizer is something that you might put on your garden or a farmer might put on their crops to help make it grow faster. And fertilizer from a bird comes from their feces, from their poo poo. And the feces are actually very high in nitrogen, which is a nutrient that helps things grow very effectively. And poultry feces are actually one of the top types of fertilizer that you can find anywhere. So that makes it pretty special. Another thing is keratin. Keratin comes from their feathers and it helps make diapers and mattresses and lots of other really cool things that we use every day. Now, another part is called their fats and their oils, which you might find in their skin, a little bit in their meat. And some industries can take those fats and oils and help make makeup that your mom or your grandma might wear. Now, I don't know about you, but I like to dress up for Halloween and sometimes I use feather boas. Those feathers sometimes are actually real and they come from poultry, from our chickens. Last but not least, besides the meat, there's also bones of the chickens and blood and, and other types of, of things that you can eat that are not necessarily high cuts of meat that you might see in your grocery store. So oftentimes your butcher or your, uh, your salesperson at your uh, grocery store are going to grind those up and they might end up as a protein source or they might even end up as in your, in your pet food that you're feeding to your dog or your cat. So all of these byproducts help increase the economic viability of our agriculture industry and help Texas and the United States as a whole. Additionally, it helps make sure that we are using these animals to the best of our ability and not letting anything go to waste because our number one priority is to be respectful of these animals and give them a great and happy life. And byproducts is just one of the ways that we do that. So make sure you turn back in tomorrow. We're going to see day six and we'll see what our chicks look like then.